Saturday and we are having, uh, it's 11 o'clock, we're going to go to the farmer's market to get stuff for our weekly meals that we've picked out via Mealime. I've talked about it a bunch of times before, um, but I'll show you what we're making. We're having mustard herb lamb chops with minted pea puree. This, which is one of my favorite things ever. This, which is so good, this is salmon with kale and potatoes, and this, we're gonna try this. Sweet potato and Brussels sprouts hash with fried eggs. The bean is gonna come with us to the farmer's market because he loves to go to the treat lady, so I bet he's gonna try and find the treat lady. That's the first thing he likes to do when he gets there because she gives him chicken and he loves it. And it is Pokemon Go community day, so we're gonna go and play Pokemon Go because we're 12. All right, I got my insulated bag here. Uh, this is from California Innovations, and I've had it for a long time. It's got a little insulated inside to keep things warm or cold. Clover wants to get in it, um, but I will link it down below so you guys can get one yourself if you'd like it. It's actually really, it's huge. That's how big it gets. Bean for scale. down in Boston Common. Uh, Clover's ready to come. Are you ready to go on an adventure? Yes? Okay. We're gonna go in the car, we're gonna try and find a parking space, and we're gonna play some Pokemon Go. It's been a long time since I've played with people, so I'm very excited. <laughs> Boston Public Garden and it's really nice out and I there's a bunch of people here and I think like half these people are waiting for Pokemon Go Community Day to start. I, everyone's like on their phones. It's awesome Pokemon shirts. So I think I think this is gonna be good.
for like 40 minutes. And oh my gosh, you can't even see. But I got a couple of shiny Laura Vitar. Um, but I didn't get any legendaries. I, I went to two raids and I failed. So I'm a little bit bad about that, but that's okay. That's fine. We're having fun, right, Clover? Right? Oh my gosh, he's got stuff all in his hair. Clover, look, look at me. Hey, you want some water, buddy? You thirsty? It's kind of hot. Okay, let's get you some water. And if the question of the day is, are people still playing Pokemon Go? The answer is yes. So it was really fun. I had a great time. I caught three or four shiny Larvitar, so I'm very happy. Although I didn't get my legendaries because they all ran away from me. Not bitter or anything like that, but that, you know, we'll be okay. There'll be other chances. Anyway, Clover and I are back. He had a good time chasing Pokemon Chew and making friends. He made lots of dog friends. There were lots of dogs there. So I figured it'd be a good time for another space update. Um, I feel like it should have some sort of intro, like some sort of news intro, like space update. Uh, a few of you just wanted to see, and I'm gonna do all the spaces anyway, but I'm just gonna do them in like whatever popular order. I haven't even checked in a while, so I don't know if this is the next one, do it to be done. But the hot mess closet was high on the list. Okay, first of all, don't look at my vanity. Like, I, I don't know what happened there. I was doing my makeup and I it got, it got crazy. Anyway, so this is the hot mess cabinet. Um, it's not really a hot mess anymore. Uh, it's a it's an armoire that we purchased from West Elm when we moved into the place. It's called a patchwork armoire. This is discontinued, I think, from a West Elm, so you can't buy it anymore, um, which is unfortunate. They still have the side tables, I think, that go with this collection, but not the armor, which is unfortunate. So on top of it, I just have stored some linens and a couple of my travel bags and things and some other weird things. Actually, does it, do these have labels on them? No. These don't have labels on them, but these boxes do. I've got some craft stuff and some, this is electric electric stuff, like a, I have a microphone and a mixer um, that lives up there. I don't use that very much, but that's where all that stuff lives. These two drawers, frankly, aren't doing that great because they just don't, I, I don't know what to do with them, but they are my, I guess, my drawers. My husband has domain of these bottom two drawers. I think he's got socks and stuff in them. But um, this is the cabinet I organized in a video. And let's open it and see how it's doing. Oh, look, it's basically the same. So that is my husband's neck pillow and I have to put it up here during the day because we need symmetry on the bed. <laughs> so I just put that pillow in the cabinet and I can make a symmetric bed. Yes, that is really extra and over the top, but you know what? I am extra and over the top. A fan lives here in case it gets really hot at night and we turn on the fan. Sometimes I like the noise from the fan anyway. Uh, but it's basically all the same. This is my little travel thing for when I um, travel. <laughs> it's my liquids bag and I keep that sort of ready to go at, at a moment's notice so if I have to like really quickly go I just grab this thing and put it in my suitcase I got a couple of storage boxes here this is hair stuff this is a this is actually a hair dryer I got nail polish and tools respiratory tools and feminine care for all je tampons and je pads this is actually a box full of earrings that I made um, I don't actually wear these all the time but I cycle them out every once in a while so actually I'll show them to you guys I don't talk about this very much, but I used to make jewelry a lot. Um, I don't do that a lot anymore. I went through a phase when I was really into beading and I have some pretty, looks like some pretty bracelets and some earrings in there that I used to make. I used to sell these on Etsy too, but I just, I don't do that anymore. It's just not something I could keep up with, but 
they're fun. There's a, I, I didn't make every earring in this its box, like those little horse earrings I didn't make, um, and these little Dalmatian earrings I did not make, but I made uh, pretty much the rest of these in here. So that's where my earring box is. Oh, and this is Clover's uh, blanket to get, that goes on the bed when we sleep, because he sleeps on the bed. He actually doesn't sleep here. He just sleeps on my pillow like like a cat. It's really cute. Um, but we have this just in case he decides to sleep on the comforter to keep the comforter clean. And when I make the bed, I just stick it in the front like that. But it's my uh, buttons and maintenance tools there and uh, braces and things for sewing there. Like It's like ankle braces, not like teeth braces. So that is that cabinet. Actually not looking too shabby, if you ask me. And lastly, we have the infamous hot mess cabinet, which is not a hot mess. It's basically still the same. I have some dresses scooted over on one side. On the other side, I've got uh, my camera case. I don't think my camera's actually in here. I think this is just the case. I have it up here with the command hook and my ring light for when I need to light my face. And I have my, another camera down in here as well that I don't use very much. It's an old DSLR. And a this is a... Case. It actually has an old video camera I used when I was in Paris in it. I love this camera. It's so cute, but it only shoots at 30 frames per second, and that bothers me. Because I like 24 frames per second. <laughs> this is tech talk. You don't need to hear this stuff. And this is just uh, more camera stuff. So I do use this cabinet. There's my gorilla pot in there. There's a little tripod in there as well. So this is still looking pretty good. I have my long and formal dresses in here for when I have concerts and stuff. So if I have to perform, I'll go and select from these dresses or if I have to go somewhere really fancy because I've got some really fun stuff in here. This is one of my favorite Tracy Reese dresses. It's so pretty. It's like brown burnout but it's got these little uh, sort of sparkly things on it and it's, oh, it's so cute. I love this dress. My other super favorite dress that I haven't worn in a long time but I, I would love to wear it because I, I think it's this is an awesome going out to dinner dress is this dress from Tracy Reese. Look at it. It's sort of like non- it's kind of a flat shape dress. It doesn't really have much shape to it, but it's so pretty on. I'll see if I can find a picture of me wearing it. I adore this dress. And I bought this off the Tracy Reese website. Uh, when did I get this? Maybe like four years ago. I am obsessed with this dress. I, I'm pretty much obsessed with dresses in general. I am obsessed with dresses and have a lot of them. I admit to that, but I do enjoy all of them. And actually, I can't wait to wear this too on a date soon. My husband says he's taking me out to a fancy dinner soon, so this will come out, she will come out. Anyway, she lives in here with all of her friends. I love these um, thin hangers, as you guys can see. I have some, some of them that I have that are, are black because when I worked at a container store, they gave us a package of black hangers and I was like, oh, I'll just keep them, even though they don't match the rest of my hangers. So I still have some black ones. Um, but I do, I do love, I love the dresses in here. They're, it's like my fun closet. So as you can see, not a hot mess. Doing pretty well. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this casual weekend vlog and space update. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye. Stay neat.